Want to Be a Cowboy's Sweetheart by Patsy Montana, opening up this week's very special edition of Down Home with me, Howling Dick. It's very special because I'm sitting here in the House of Mercy studios with none other than every cowboy's sweetheart, the lovely, delectable belle of British blues, none other than Bex Marshall. Hello, Bex. Well, hello there. Oh, she's got such a great voice for radio. <laughs> So thanks for coming today, because what we're going to do, as what we agreed to do, is to highlight the women of the blues, didn't we? Indeed. And to share our favourite tracks, our favourite singers. I'm sure we're going to miss out a lot of them. And we did have a little bit of a conflab oh, over yes. what to start with, didn't we? We did. We had a, we had a conflab and, and conflict and um, ended up with this most amazing show. Yeah. <laughs> and can you yodel? Well, you know, I um, I do something quite similar, but um, it's not in the actual uh, in the music vein. But um, it's usually, you know. Um, well, maybe you'll treat us to something. Maybe later. I will. Maybe <laughs> I will. But I can't say I I can't say I do it as a as a profession now. Okay. All right. You're not a professional yodeler. I'm not. Uh, but you are a woman, which should give a clue to what we're going to play. Last time I looked, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and what's What's the track? I'm going to play a little song called Red Light. Oh, no. I'm no, you're not. Gonna you're gonna, now, you see, this is the trouble. <laughs> you see, this is where you are a most fantastic artist and performer. You're not a DJ, it. are you? <laughs> br- my, you know, my mind is um, scattered most of the time. As genius usually is. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> I play red light now. No. no. Okay. We're going to play I Am a Woman by Coco Taylor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything, everything, everything going to be all right. Oh. Yeah. 
been done I'm gonna hold back the lightning With the palm of my hand Shake hand with the devil Make him crawl in the sand To a crocodile. I'm a woman. I'm a love maker. I'm a woman. You know I'm a earth shaker. Coco Taylor, I can make love to a crocodile. Now that's a line, isn't it? That's a thought. Yeah, that's a good God. I wonder how crocodiles make love, but <laughs> probably not for the show. There might be children listening. So you're champing at the bit to play something, but I am going to hold you back. The lady's got a guitar in her hands, and she's, as she said when the music was playing, she's so used to being asked to play something and singing it rather than introducing it. So she's going to be um, off and running in a few minutes. But first I want to talk to you about heroes, heroines, the ladies of the blues. Oh, I mean, wow. I mean, um, you know, there's so many wonderful uh, singers and also guitarists. Um, now, uh, you know, I grew up listening to um, all sorts of fantastic women. Um, but, I mean... The old style stuff, um, like the Memphis Minis. And, well, she uh, started it. She well, was the first lady guitarist, wasn't she, really? Absolutely, yes. And Big Mama Thornton, um, great vocalist yeah. as well. Um, so, you know, the old style um, blues, the back porch stuff, I call it, which um, has a huge influence, but also sort of the electric guitar ladies like Bonnie Ray and, um, you know, um, Janis Joplin vocalists. Of, of soul Joanna blues. Shaw Taylor. You Joanna Shaw Taylor. Yeah, she's fantastic. Uh, great guitarist, and uh, you know another contemporary, uh, taking it as far as she can. Really. Otis Grand had a little pop at her in an article I read that blues was being taken over by sexy blondes playing guitar, which well, I think was a bit unfair. He, he must have issues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One great tool, One great guitarist. Is Rory Block. Yeah. This is Walk in Blues. Got up this morning, said I feel around for the shoes. You know about it, got on. Walk in blues now. Up this morning, said I. Oh,
sunshine like the sun. Oh, you kick your mama, she can't help it none now. My baby's face is shine. Oh, shines like the sun. I said now, you kicking mama, said I sure can't help it none. Dirty Dozen by Memphis Minnie. That's a great song, isn't it? It is a great song, yes. Um, yeah, you chose that one. I did. Yeah. What is it you like about it? <laughs> um, well, it's um, it's actually quite reflective of the um, the aggro that used to happen years ago in the street on the streets. Um, and whereas you know these days you have these sort of rap songs. Um, you know, talking and slagging off each other and your mama this and your daddy that and all this. Well, this was one of the early versions and there's the phrase, fix you in the in the dozen, mm-hmm. which actually means, you know, I'll, we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll have a sort of verbal fight kind of thing. And um, that's why in the choruses, and it's talking about your mummy and your puppy and all this, they're actually having a go at the family. Yeah, well, rap has really sort of replaced blues in the mainstream, hasn't it? I mean, that's where it's eventually gone. It's it's the all R&B, about yeah. it's a so, social songs. Yes, talking about being mistreated. Although that's most right. blues singers, I always remember that interview with Blind Willie McTell, where he told Alan Lomax, "No, I'm not oppressed. I'm just a normal bloke." You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to sing about? Um, um, before that was Rory Block. Did you know how Rory Block played guitar, learnt to play guitar? I don't know. Her dad 
had a shoe repair shop right. next to one of the big instrument shops in New York. Very cool. And she used to go next door and spend her life inside playing all the great guitars That'll and do. learning. Yeah, fantastic. My, She's my great, fa- I like her a lot. My father had a factory next to Kossos Bakery in Ridley Road <laughs> Market, so I spent my life eating donuts. <laughs> OK, I can't hold you back any longer. <laughs> go on. What are you going to play us? This is Red Light. Ooh. Yeah. 
see, I wanted you to do that song, but you didn't do it. Fever. Yeah, it'd be great we in your act, I think. Fever. Especially with your band, who I saw last... Oh, yeah, I saw that, you with The Mercy working. last week. You were fantastic. Thank you very much. I thought you uh, raised the roof at the 100 Club. Well, we do try. It was good to see a blues act on the blues night. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> um, OK. You play guitar, I mean, amazingly. We talked about um, Rory Block learning guitar by nipping next door. How did you come to the guitar? Well, um, I had a natural progression to the instrument. Um, sort of, I'd seen people play it. My uncle played it, and um, I was was just naturally drawn to the sound and the whole sort of, you know, the, the, the playing of it. Was he a blues musician? Um, he was a rock and yeah, he was a, he was a rock and roll um, singer in the 60s and play guitar and... Um, Anyone actually, we would know? He was in the Marauders. Oh, right. Yeah. Cool. Um, which is a band um, out of... Well, sort of toured... They actually toured with the Beatles. So, um, you know, he did uh, quite well. Um, they had a couple of hits and stuff. Is this the aristocratic side of the family? No, this is the, the, the gypsy side. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bex is a, is a great mix. You've got to, you might as well tell us... You've got two sides of the family. I ones. have, yeah. yeah. It's a great actually. It's, it's a great um, mixture of, of family members. I've got um, my great great grandfather was the squire of Cornwall, so um, we have that sort of lineage. And we were in Burke's Peerage, and you know, my grandfather had quarries and fishing rights. Do you, and, have, a, just say, do you have a stately home down there? We now? did have, yeah, years ago. I say we. Uh, it was never there when I was, you know, um, alive or you know before I was born. Uh, this all kind of happened. But um, in the true style of sort of rock and roll aristocracy, um, my great-great-grandfather was a drunk and um, had to sell all the farms off to pay the, the bury bill. So, you know, right. say la vie. Well, you know, he had a come, good, at least he didn't waste it. No, actually, that's not true to a degree. Um, there, is a, there is a bit of a story in t- attached, and I will um, write an album about it uh, when, I, when I have a, 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 my next writing retreat, I'm sure. Um, but um, no, it, we, so we do have that kind of, um, you know, that, that country folk sort of vein running through uh, on one side. And then the other side, um, my grandfather's, my, my, my grandmother was uh, a sort of a mix between Ireland and Wales. So, um, you know, my great grandmother was, was called Madame Olga and um, told fortunes out of a barrel top caravan. Can you tell fortunes? I don't tell fortunes. Well, actually, I do. If you give me your shoe, I would stare at the um, the bottom of it and the sole of your shoe. Yeah. And um, probably throw it as far as I could and say, you're going to go on a very long journey. Oh, that's terrible. But, you know, that's my sense of humour, I'm afraid. Mm. Um, apart from that, though, um, I don't tell fortunes, but I do have an incredible sixth sense. Um, as most women do. Yeah. So, you yeah. know. I always follow my gut instinct. Right. Um, interesting. So you lost the whole thing through drink. Well, drink and... Um, actually, my grandfather went to war. Um, oh, you just ruined the line because I wanted to announce the next record. Oh, really? Let's go and get stoned. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, yeah, OK, drink, sex, drugs and rock and roll. It's it's the downfall of, of every, every um, you know, empire throughout history. Absolutely. Let's hear it. Some money, I'll buy myself a little gin. I'm gonna stop off on my way home and say, Let's go get stoned. You know, I've been struggling all day long. Everything I try to do just seems to come out wrong. So I'm gonna call my buddy on my telephone and say, let's go get stoned. There's no harm to have a little taste. Don't lose your cool and break up this nice place. There's no harm to have a little nip. 
So you know, he never said what got him down. Was a damn fine engineer though. So oh, his playground. Haunted by some fear all alone. Didn't wanna stick around. Said it's time to go. Don't wanna grow. Had enough of that rock, rock, rock and roll. Got him running like a hero on a quest. I said, Lose the leather and cut your hair. Maybe then she'll be impressed. The tax man left love letters for him. Company went bust. Life's a gamble, he said, Catch me in. Oh, my bets are off. Time to go, didn't want to grow. So this soul, rock, rock, rock and roll. He said, I'm out of gas in my brass zippo. Had enough of that rock, rock, rock and roll. Then one day he never called me back. I knew his light had faded black. No more hurt, no more amps to stack. Cause he ain't never, ever coming back. His neighbor said, is he okay? I said, come on, let's go, he's dead. I think of him now and again, cause we had some good time. But he ain't suffering anymore, like the ones he left behind. Time to go, didn't want to go home. Sold his soul, rock, rock, rock and roll. He said, I'm out of gas. In my brass zipper. Oh, I had enough. I had enough. The rock and roll. I had enough. Rock and roll. I had enough. That rock and roll. Oh, 
Is there such a thing as too much rock and roll? <sighs> I suppose there was in my great great grandfather's case. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> before um, before you played that for us, I played Anne Rabson and Bob Margolin. Uh-huh. Because everyone knows Bob Margolin was as, as Muddy Waters' side man. Mm. Um, but Anne Rabson, now she's interesting. She's departed these this mortal coil uh, just a f- couple of months ago. Uh, mm. But she was a she was a fantastic Piedmont style guitarist for the first twenty years of her career, mm-hmm. and then decided to take up piano, oh. and then became um, one of the great barrel house blues players. Mm-hmm. She also was a, a huge, huge influence on women's blues because she led Sapphire, the Uppity Blues Band, which was three women. You should check her out. She's wow. got a fantastic voice. Fantastic, yeah. Yeah. And um, we talked a lot this week about um, the type of music that you wanted to play, and we, we have gone back to the old stuff, haven't we? You like the old stuff. I like the old stuff. I, um, I have a real thing about going back to Roots. Um, you know, I, I even with my seven-piece blues rock gospel band, I, it need the roots need to to be totally up front and and and, sh- and shine. You what, know, um, what you I, need I, is I a love se- that that I love those kind of those you know those um, home down uh, instruments and the whole you know the vibe of the, the lyrics and the delivery of, of back porch blues. Mm. Yeah. What you possibly need is a sound effect of some cackle going on, <laughs> some, some, some surface noise going on to make it sound like the old stuff. I was listening to, you know, Jack White has just re-released or is in the process of re-releasing the entire uh, catalogue of document records and he started off with Charlie Patton, Amazing. Mississippi, yes, um, fantastic. Uh, Sheiks. Um, and that's real old crackly stuff. I mean, yeah. he's a man with eclectic taste. Absolutely. Um, he chose... This this is going to be a little bit of a curve ball coming up, mm-hmm. um, but as there's a blonde theme going on this oh, show, yeah. um, I thought I'd play one of Jack White's favourite ladies. Okay. <laughs> Remember this 
I'm warning you before we kiss Look me over closely Cause I may be the marrying Thank you. 
thank my friend Dan Sanders for that one. Uh, Diana Braithwaite, lovely jazz African rhythms there, of blues dance. Bet it's never been mixed with Marlena Dietrich before. No. That is a first. Well, this is the Down Home Show, so yeah. anything can happen. Um, I do I do get the feeling that people expect this show just to be about blues, but you're not just about blues, are you? It's roots. I mean, there's... Absolutely. Yeah, roots is, is um, really where I think the passion lies and the, and the feeling. Yeah. You know, which is, is where, where blues is. David yeah. Migdon, uh, I heard him on a rival radio show, mm. say um, that he put it all under twisted American roots music. Yeah. And I think that's a great Words. way of... Great yeah. way that everything is one big melting pot for everything. I think that's what we all like, isn't it? As long as it's cool. Mm. Um, There's two types of music, good and bad. Yeah, what's the bad music? You've got to be careful. Whatever doesn't move, move you. Correct. I knew you'd have the right answer. I'm a woman. Um, this is a woman's show. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for instance, I play Gillian Welch um, some time ago on the show, and people were saying to me, um, that's not blues. Well, I can't live with that. I mean, the show is, is a mix of where my head goes. Well, yes. Um, I mean, I've heard your head go on stage when you drift off into guitar from... He- I, I've never actually heard a country roots version of uh, Hendrix before, but you do do it live, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, because um, it's an exciting... Um, it's a, it's a, a song which... You know, you play the play the first three or four bars, and everybody knows it. it's an iconic song, and they obviously are expecting it to come out as they know it, as like any cover. If you do a cover well, you know, um, that version is better than cover, isn't it? Cover version, yeah, of course. A version, your interpretation. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I think the roots. That, you know, I try to take big production songs, and when I do versions of them. Um, I, I want to make them as great as the original, but completely different. And that's where I... What inspires me and excites me about playing other people's songs. Mm. I mean, we're sure. sitting in the snake pit, um, yeah. which is in the House of Mercy. And it's getting hot. Which is the home of Americana. Uh, yes. I mean, all sorts of music goes on here. Tell us about the House of Mercy. Well, um, it is a... Uh, a hub of wonderful uh, you know musicians that come in and, and record live uh, every week which uh, Barry my husband who's uh, our engineer today who's, who's engineering wonderfully um, puts together a three hour show and that gets syndicated all over the world and um, you know hopefully uh, promoting original um, independent Americana which is a huge uh, umbrella for different sorts of American, well, you know, blues, All sorts, country. Yeah. I saw the album of the week rock. is the new James Cotton album, Indeed. isn't it? Which is yes. a terrific album. Yeah. So, um, and where my record uh, title, I mean, we're, we're very independent, both of us. Um, and I think it's very important for this sort of music to have outlets to be produ- uh, 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 promoted. Um, you know, it's very difficult, as we know, as everybody knows, when you're an independent artist, to get airplay, to get, uh, you know, the sessions and stuff. So, um, you know, it is getting better, but we, you know, we would promote it and it's a very strong, uh, we, we, we've got a great following and, and listeners and stuff. And it's, it's, it's not commercial. We don't get told what to do. It's, it's, Quite it's right. real. Um, real musicians, real music. Play what you um, like. And, yeah, it's not polished. To the degree where I thought know, it sounded very polished. I don't think you're doing. I think you're doing Barry a disservice there. Well, I say no. I mean, I mean, you know, it's it. You don't have to watch what you say. It's 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 um, you know, basically unedited and it, warts and all. And I think people like to hear musicians yeah. being musicians. And if you haven't heard the House of Mercy shows, there is a link to it directly on my website. There is indeed. Yes. At www howlingdick.com and yeah. it's houseofmercy.tv it is yeah and also if you're buying anything through amazon please come and buy it through the houseofmercy.tv site yeah. because that's how we stay alive here because um, we're not commercial we don't sell out to advertise 
okay. mints and stuff like that. So, um, you know, that's important to keep the, the, the little guys alive. OK, so let's, let's veer away slightly from the blues. But, of course, this is a great song. This is Make Me a Palette on the Floor <laughs> by one of my favourite artists, Gillian Welch. Fantastic. Make me down a pallet on your floor Make me down a pallet on your floor Make me down a pallet soft and low Now I'm broken, I got no Been hanging around with good time friends of mine Hanging around with good time friends of mine Oh, they treat me very nice and kind When I got a dollar Jim 
tried hard to love him, but it never did take Just another way for the heart to break, so she learned to be Exquisite voice of Emmy Lou Harris there mm. with Red Dirt Girl. Stunning. I think it was Buddy Miller on electric guitar there. Yes. In fact, I know Stunning. it is because I was reliably informed by Barry during that song. <laughs> He's a mind of information. <laughs> and prefacing it with Gillian Welsh. I mean, they are two amazing ladies. And if I get anybody uh, emailing me that I'm not playing blues, I will play an hour of cowboy yodeling songs <laughs> next week. In fact, I might even do that just for Barry. It's all good, isn't it? It's mm? just wonderful. It's just lovely to just sort of float over all those sorts of things. And, it's and, music. And those different, you know, elements. It's, it's beautiful. It's music. Great women. People Great don't women wa- artists. And people don't want to hear plodding 12-bar blues. Not, or I don't. Not all the time. No. I mean, you know, you have to sort of get off the beaten track and open some doors. You know, um, it's, it's, it's rude not to. It's silly not to. You, you shouldn't close your mind to anything um, in regards to good music. You know. Well, these are heady days for you, aren't they? Mm. Awards coming up, a few nominations. Oh, yes, I've been I've been nominated. Yes. You didn't get the best song though, did you? No. No. <laughs> Who got it? <clears throat> Ian Segal. Ah, now. <laughs> well, he's been nominated above love. He's. I think he's nominated in every category again. So he should yes. be. Absolutely. So he should be. I but should, it, um, I, I will be voting for him. So what Again. happens over breakfast? I flick Marmite at him. <laughs> should hasten this is to a Marmite s- household. Should hasten to say that the House of Mercy is dripping with <laughs> rock stars and Ian Seagal. <laughs> is it Seagal or Seagal? Sometimes it's Seagal, sometimes it's Seagal. I think and there's no Seagal, relation to Stephen Seagal, the great thespian actor of our time. I doubt it, no. <laughs> <laughs> and what has, else are you up quiet. for? What else are you up What are you? What did you get the nomination for? I got... I was... Nominated for Best Vocal, which yeah, is just, not surprising. just wonderfully, you know, I'm just blown away by that. Um, and also Best Album. Yeah. Well. Which for me, personally, is um, just, you know, the most amazing thing for me because I produced it myself and and it, I, got, I got there very organically through just listening to my gut reaction and the way, you know, I... I I really put everything into this record um, and sort of dug deep inside myself to really put on it what I believed was part of, you know, it was like my whole being on that album, everything. You can tell. You know. You can tell. Yeah. Um, you put your whole being into most things, Bex. I mean, seeing you <laughs> live, you're a great performer. Your soul comes through. The first Thank time you. I heard you, I heard the soul in your voice. And music meaning so much to you. Yeah. Um, I think you've got to give us another song. I will indeed. And this is off the House of Mercy. This is mm. called Gone Fishing. Mm. Old man went 
down to the river with a hook, line, sink, and cane to catch himself a big fish for his dinner. He was a simple man. Cop diddly squat for over an hour, dragging up nothing but sand. The sun was setting, so soon or later he'd be going home with empty head. Then a big fish tugged that line like a steam train pulling light. Felt like a big on the line started running, boots dug into the sand. Big fish said, Hey, I ain't ready to be laid upon your plate. Old man said, Now come on to daddy and get ready for the pearly gate. Gone fishing. Gone fishing. It's where he's gone. He's gone fishing. Gone fishing. He's missing. Fishing's where he's gone. Drop flat into the sea. As the cat guts span, the old man ran into a waterway above his knee. Grabbed back the rod like a loaded gun. Big fish couldn't get free. And old man cursed up to heaven above. He said, Stop playing those games with me. In the cold, cold water, pushed the old man from behind. This war was not over. Big fish versus mankind. He hear that son of a bitch to horse him with all the strength he could find. Reeling in that big fish mama who was dancing on the end of his line. Gone fishing. He's gone fishing. That's where he's gone. He's gone fishing. Was about to break. The big fish swam towards old man. She said, Get down on your knees and break. With a couple of flips of that tail and fin, she jumps out out to high. She kissed the old man square on the lip. She said, Bye bye, baby, bye bye. When the hook was gone, the big fish swam off. Old man starts to weep. I said, Listen, old man, wash those bloody hands. You know this. Plenty more fish in the sea And he tells that tale right to this day Of the big fish mama who got away Lordy, lordy, she really was that big Gone fishing Gone fishing That's where he's gone He's gone fishing He said, I wouldn't be able to play it if I gave you my right hand. But there you go. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I don't know whether we became the Johnny Vaughan and Denise Van Out and the Blues Radio. Uh, And I suppose for overseas listeners, I should explain that Johnny Vaughan and Denise Van Out and were uh, breakfast, hot ra- yeah, hot couple Damn, radio presenters. Johnny Vaughan, handsome chap, and Denise Damn. Van Outen, a sexy blonde. Absolutely. So I think we fit that. Oh yeah, for I've sure. been told I've got a face for radio. <laughs> Bex, it's been absolutely wonderful. We've had some fun. Yeah, we have. We've laughed. Yeah, and, and we've, we've heard cried some. some. Um, yeah, <laughs> and we've I've had my own personal Bex Marshall concert. What more could a boy ask for? Oh, bless um, you. Mark. 
we'll do it again, yeah? Let's do it again. And you know who to vote for in the next... I do, yeah. Ian's yeah I know you do, but I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to them out I'm there. Get in trouble. Yeah, it's the uh, British Blues Awards. You can find it on the website or through Facebook. And, uh, There's some great artists. I mean, you know, the, the best thing, I was looking at it, and it's just lovely to have British Blues Awards anyway. Yeah. And to be promoting the music. And, you know, people are getting excited about it. And it's, it's great. I mean, you know, there's a lot of great British blues happening and being promoted. And it's a wonderful thing. And it's, you know, competition's fantastic. You know, let's go and have a party afterwards. Absolutely. So you know, says the Blues It should be a British board. Blues Awards Festival. There you go. There you go. Well, there's I'm looking forward someone, to you. I'm sure. I'm looking forward to you winning. <laughs> um, we're going to have to go out with a song with a big voice. Oh, yeah. There ain't many I can think of that have got a bigger voice than you, Bex. Oh. Big Mama Thornton. Yay. Little Red Rooster. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye, Bex. Bye-bye, Bex. <laughs>
I'm talking about the little red rooster. I mean that old little bitty rooster. You cocky doodle doo. Chomp! Says the little red a rooster, a rooster, a rooster, a rooster been gone, Yankee. Yeah. 